all Gigafactory progress side by side for the first week of March. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. The foundation work under what will soon be the new stamping area expansion is moving along nicely. There's a lot more rebar here, and it looks like they'll be ready to pour in the next week or two, with construction atop it ready to commence about three to four weeks after that, once it cures. The sliver wedge along the southeast corner is still hustling along nicely. Last week's freshly poured footings have been backfilled around and the first vertical columns have been erected. There are far more footings between the phase two buildings as well. What was just a bunch of dirt holes last week is now mostly concrete. Whatever is going on in this area will likely be nearing completion in the next two to three months. I've launched a monthly giveaway campaign and there are two ways to enter to get some free stuff. The first way is by becoming a Patreon and the other is simply by subscribing or commenting on various videos throughout the month. If you haven't subscribed, it's free and it's really easy. The steel expansion to the north of the phase two building is still moving nicely. Most of it is already enclosed, at least by square footage, with almost all the steel in place. In the next week or two, we should see the roof and walls closed in. The building in the northeast corner is also moving quickly. There are vastly more roof segments, sure, but the big difference is the steel on the walls, which is all but ready for exterior sheathing. There's also a lot of concrete flooring already being poured. This building is also likely to be closed off to the prying eyes of the sky in just a few weeks. Giga Berlin. I'm taking a much wider view of Giga Berlin this week using footage from late in the week instead of the weekend since it gives a broader overview and a more apples to apples comparison. On the east side of the building we can see a fair bit of progress on the exterior as well as in the still open casting cathedral. At least one of the Giga casting machines is already being assembled here. You can also see in the bottom, there's been a substantial amount of work to prepare for footing slash foundation work on the new warehouse, though warehouse is just a term we're kind of using loosely since we don't actually know what this building is going to be just yet. On the south face of the building, the front if you will, we can see a lot more of the fire escapes have been completed, and more exterior wall panels have been installed. There are a lot more areas of the roof completed, and the amount of roofing material stored up top has reduced since, you know, it's been attached to the structure. It also appears as though the loading docks are being installed, 
and I'm pretty sure that stack of office containers right up front is one floor shorter than last week. In the north of the building, we can't see much since it's been holding fairly steady this whole time, but it's a bit tidier, suggesting the materials delivered have moved inside for additional installation and completion. As a reminder, this entire north courtyard actually has massive foundations beneath that dirt for future expansion. This is something I had thought would be included in this round, especially with how much time, energy, and expense they put into it. But uh, no, I guess it's uh, I guess it's for a soon to be announced bit of expansion. The temporary on-ramp and off-ramp being built for the factory is moving along quickly as well. This is a fascinating development, considering they already have a rail yard, but every bit of access to infrastructure helps, I guess. A big thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, and an extra entry to win some fun stuff on the channel. So big thanks to David Hayes who just upgraded to the Coolio level. I can't do it without you guys, and you rock. Giga Texas. To the north of the site, the cranes have begun congregating, which can only lead to baby cranes, if I understand my engineering physiology correctly, which we now see in abundance on other parts of the site. The casting roof has more concrete, and the east side structure roof now extends almost the full length of the building. Interior floors and other work is already underway as well, including massive amounts of concrete poured on second and in parts of the site, third floors. At the Stamping Cathedral, new walls have been installed, and they are now working on interior fitting of HVAC, interior walls, and more. There are now visible loading docks and doors apparent as well, and the roof concrete has almost doubled in coverage. If you watch my Giga Texas Progress Tracker series, this week's video is gonna cheer you up a bit after a few weeks of pretty significant disappointment, as you may have guessed by seeing the progress on the site this week. On the west side of the Stamping Cathedral, we can see all wall panels have been attached, allowing us to actually start counting interior work towards completion. In the prairie, we see footing work continuing with the west side perimeter grade beam extending almost as far as the footings. And the small steel structure now connects with the main building with more steel on site for erection. There's also a lot more interior floors poured and roof coverage attached.
In the northeast corner, where the battery plant is expected to be, we've gone from geopier dirt to having dozens of footings dug, rebarred, and poured. It takes 28 days for concrete to fully cure, so we may not see vertical columns here in the next two to three weeks, but the pace of footing work is going crazy, and the steel work is going to come right after it. You'll see as they finish working on the prairie. On the east side of the power line, there's been a massive increase in the amount of gravel put down, though for what purpose is as yet unclear. What do you guys think it'll be? So what did I miss or misunderstand? Give me the what for in the comments, or just leave a message so you get entered into the giveaway to get some free stuff. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots as spring turns to summer.